Is Red Dead Online even worth playing? See, Red Dead Online is the online expansion for Red Dead Redemption 2, a game produced by Rockstar Games in 2018, which won countless awards and was even snubbed for Game of the Year, according to many, just narrowly losing out to God of War. But the online mode wasn't so hot. Not only was it released with microtransactions in its beta, quite frankly, there was never a lot of content there, and though there has been better beats as of late, it's still less than what you would expect from this big of a developer. But we here on the channel and many players around the world loved the game anyway, hoping it would become as much of a priority for Rockstar as its older brother Grand Theft Auto Online. But now, over a year later, Red Dead Online's fans have some things to get off their chest. See, I recently ran a poll on my community tab here on YouTube asking loyal Red Dead Online fans if Red Dead Online is even worth playing anymore. And we're going to jump into the direct results a little bit later on in the video along with my personal thoughts and opinions, but I did get a ton of responses. And I've compiled some of the most common and the most upvoted to give us a sense of how Rockstar Games has handled their latest online venture. So is Red Dead Online even worth playing anymore? Evelyn says right now on PS4 is a nightmare. I can't get my camp, bounty board, stranger missions, and sometimes even the moonshine shack to work properly. We have another comment here from EJD Smith, and it says I haven't really played for months. I keep up with the dailies so I can get some consistent gold in the event that Rockstar releases any anything interesting, but the game has been broken since Moonshiners and that wasn't substantial enough for a long-term content drop to keep the game together for this long. There are far too many interesting games in the world to be stuck on a game that devs can't fix. We have another comment here that says Red Dead Online is very much like Dutch's so-called plan. It sounds great on paper, but it's poor in execution to say the least. And this is just the top few comments on this post from literally two, three days ago. Like that people are not happy and keep in mind these aren't like you know mad people these aren't people who are like just going out to hate on games these are loyal fans i've posted 450 videos on this game so these are not people who are like out here to sit here and hate on the game like we love this we wanted it to be much better than it has been and quite frankly we're getting there we're, we're getting more updates it just doesn't seem to be where it should be like if the game had released with this much content or maybe you know one update back if that was the initial beta release okay that would have been fine uh, but to be over a year in yikes we have another comment here that says I didn't even play for the free five gold bars too bad because this game is beautiful and that's the thing is Red Dead Online really is beautiful it's one of the most beautiful games I've ever played I mean second only to Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode but hey you can't get an online world to look as good as an offline world and to be honest with you I'm kind of surprised that the online looks as good as it does and it does look good that's why they're going to bring a photographer role because quite frankly the best thing about Red Dead Online is its graphics. We have another comment here from Luke Briner that says what a waste of a great game that had high potential. I haven't played in over four months. There's nothing to keep players interested to come back. Best thing they ever did was the weekly legendary bounties to get people excited about coming back and he didn't add this but they just didn't keep continuing that. I loved the legendary bounties and I remember covering those as well. Everybody really really liked it uh, and you know to follow that up with Moonshiners was it was cool but there should have been more legendary bounties we should still be getting a legendary bounty each week even if they don't have these kind of epic cutscenes you could definitely have a pretty robust list of legendary bounties coming in and out of the game and it, the fact that they don't is just pretty surprising to be honest we have another comment here that says last time I played was when moonshiners first came out and then we have a comment here from Michael Shelton he said this needs a major asterisk Red Dead Redemption 2 is not just a game it's an event an evolution in what we can imagine possible in a game the the story mode is what legends are made of. Unfortunately, and I hate to say this, the online portion of the game should not have been released until at least one year after its initial release date and as was the case with GTA 5. If they would have waited, they would have had more time to properly test the servers and stability of the game. I honestly think that Red Dead 2 would have been flawless if they had just waited a little longer for the online portion and I think that's one of the big gripes that players have with this game because a lot of people, like myself, love this game, especially the story mode, and then to see the wasted opportunity that is the online mode is just quite frankly kind of heartbreaking. Because you really want something to succeed, I want nothing more than to have a fun cowboy sandbox with my friends, what? But it, it really is only fun when it's with your friends. And it's time for a really honest conversation about the lack of 
content in this game, and I know there will be a big update here in the next month or so. Maybe even two months because of everything that's going on in the world right now, but quite frankly, there's gonna be a big update to this game, and then everyone's gonna be happy again for like 10 seconds, and then we're all gonna power through the content, and then we're gonna be back at square one. And that's the thing, is none of the content is iterative, and the way they give everything as bonuses to newer players is really irking a lot of the community. We're gonna move on here to a few more comments that kind of back up those points. Meme Pro said, it's sad seeing what is so fun at the start, but is now just eat, sell shine, rob someone, eat, hunt, sleep, repeat. Quentin says, no way in hell. I'm a level 191 and I hate that I've wasted so much time waiting for nothing. Everything I worked for was given away at half the cost or for free, and the only content being made is in a rockstar content creator like GTA 5s. I'm actually excited for them to let me down one more time so I can be justified in table sawing my ultimate edition in half. It will probably push me to make my first video. Can't wait until tomorrow. If you table saw your ultimate edition in half, please send it to me on Twitter. We have another comment here from Squirrel Rampage that says, for a new player, probably. For the veterans, however, now it's just a poker simulator with nothing more to work for. And then finally, we have another comment that says, it feels like a beta game off Steam. And th these are driving home some of the, the, the main problems with Red Dead Online is it's a beautiful game with really great potential and some great ideas, but just a frank lack of development. Like it's not even a, a point where we're like, oh, the devs aren't working because they're releasing things, they're doing stuff. It's just in the wrong places. And whoever has the actual master roadmap to this game really needs to look at prioritizing different things. Um, and you know, there's a lot of excuses that I've made on the channel uh, for a long time on behalf of the dev team. Like if you go back and watch almost all these videos, I'm like, oh, I don't like this, but I really appreciate the devs. And that will never change because they work on this game. Uh, you know, they're the ones that are actually trying to make it better. They eat, sleep, and breathe it. But at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's what they're working on isn't what players want to see. And when something comes out soon that is going to be uh, really well received for a little bit, that'll be great. But the way that they need to structure the content beats has to be with replayability in mind. Uh, and right now, you know, it's just not. Like, they, they need some sort of freshness to keep people coming back. They seem to understand that with Grand Theft Auto, and for some reason, that judgment piece is just lost in reference to Red Dead Online. DeLorean says, the game is almost dead. Such a shame. If you have friends, you can enjoy it. And then 6 9 says, I wish this game was better so my friends would play it. And then we have a comment here from Sandra that says, play the other day just to check up on the game. I saw two birds doing some simple free roam missions, and then that started bugging too. I mean, come on, I really used to love that game. OK Grape says, the feeling of riding horses with friends is unbelievably incredible. It is without a doubt that anyone understands the lockdown and how some are working from home, but even before all of this, Rockstar Games could have been done and dusted, developing bank heists, online in general, and anything really just broken, I guess. Just an opinion. And what he means there is, yes, we are in lockdown right now, so there's no way that massive updates are coming out for the game, but before that, what was Rockstar doing? Why was there not a massive effort to make this everything that it could be? Uh, and, and there's not a real answer for that. Rockstar is not a company who gives any sort of indication of what they think internally. Um, I realized I was blocked on Twitter by one of the PA leads for Red Dead Online, which I thought was a little interesting. Um, and so they clearly watch this stuff, but they don't actually engage with it. Um, and they don't actually try to go to the community and say, hey guys, we know something's wrong, we know this, we know that. Um, like pretty much every other developer for every other game does, except for companies like EA. Um, even if you look at a company like Bethesda, who has got a terrible rep as of late, they are incredibly outspoken with their player base and they are just constantly trying to make them understand you know, what's going on, how they're trying to fix stuff, and what's coming next. Whereas with Rockstar Games, that feels like the last thing that they want to do. And that's even more backed up by the sea of comments here. We'll go through a few more. Alex Castro says, I feel like the story mode lets you do more than online, even though it's just you. I prefer it that way than to get killed for absolutely no reason. Joe Blog says, it's just empty and dead. No animals, repetitive missions, drain your time for pennies in return. That's if they work. Most of the times they get stuck at the start of selling moonshine on black loading screens and once reboot Booted Moonshine has now vanished. What is going on with that? And then he said he went back to The Witcher 3. We have another comment here that says, Nah, I stopped playing like a month ago. Started to piss me off and I didn't want to hate the game. 
We have a comment here from Cutter that says, if you don't mind just doing the collector role, it's not every time I log on, but bounty hunting and stranger missions often won't even let me accept a mission, stranger missions more so. The moonshine shack bugs a lot too, so sometimes you can't do that either. And Trader is so bugged you can hardly find any animals to fill your goods if you actually manage to get a camp somewhere, and if you want to run around collecting, arguably the most boring thing, the game works perfectly as intended. And then the man himself, Jim Ruthless, came through and said Rockstar needs to focus on fixing the bugs and making some action-filled content that ain't just simple fetch quests. It would be great if they made content so that it made sense to ride in a posse instead of just hunt and go on solo collector runs. Red Dead might be a beautiful game, but it is a boring, contentless mess. And that is actually going to wrap it up for the featured comments section of this video. So now we're going to move on to is Red Dead Online worth playing the poll. And of that, there's two options. There's of course, boy, and not until they fix it. And I'm going to give you a second to guess to yourself which one of those two won. Okay, and then what percentage do you think the winning one had? All right, so of course Boa came in second, obviously, with 36% of the vote, and then not until they fix it came in with the remaining 64%. So almost double the amount of people want to wait until it's fixed. And keep in mind, these are fans. These are people who have watched probably 200, 300 videos on Red Dead Online total. Uh, and and so it's, it's kind of crazy to think that a loyal fan base like this, I mean, because this is a, a Red Dead Online channel's poll, so it's only showing this to people who interact with my content a lot, which means it's only showing it to hardcore fans. Uh, so it's only hardcore Red Dead Online fans that are answering this, and literally over half of them are just saying they're not going to play the game until it is fixed, or uh, that they don't really want to, or they're not really feeling it. And the thing about this was I tried to put a positive spin on this, like, of course it's worth it, boy, or not until they fixed it not you know not saying anything about I'm not playing it it's terrible throw it away I cut it in half with a table saw anything like that it was just you know is it good right now or does it need to be fixed before you want to come back and play it and still even of those two options people just don't want to play it until it's fixed because this game is so buggy it's really upsetting and this does happen usually before a big update, so it would not surprise me if all of the increased bugs are because there is something that the devs are playing on on their own build of the game, and then you know the two just aren't lining up very well. But even that is just us sitting here making excuses for why the game isn't running well. Uh, and you know we shouldn't have to be doing that, quite frankly. The blame should fall on the devs and the product development team and the social media team over there at Rockstar HQ. And I am a fan of their work, and I will continue to be. But uh, I mean. Someone's got to someone's got to say something and I can't quite wrap my head around how uh, they've kind of let this game look like this. Uh, I, I think maybe because Grand Theft Auto is the number one selling entertainment property in history, they feel like they can get away with a few uh, uh, a few years of underdeveloped content for their next game, but I have no doubt in my mind that this has left a little bit of a sour taste in people's mouths, um, as it is clear from the comments and from the results of this poll. Now, as far as what I think personally, I think obviously within five years this game's going to be awesome, but are you really going to want to wait five years for this game to be cool? Because I I don't really think you are. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna be until servers get fixed. I don't know how long it's gonna be until a lot of general issues um, are resolved. Now, I did see a couple of comments from people who are on Stadia saying that they have no issues, lobbies are full, everything's great. Um, and I would assume that's a player-based numbers issue more than it's any anything else. Well, it's not that it's an issue, it's just I think that's why uh, the lobbies are better on Stadia because I think there's like nine players, so I think it kind of is easier to give everybody a solo lobby. But as far as PlayStation and Xbox, which is the majority of the player base, uh, it's really almost unplayable. And then when you move over to PC, uh, if you get into a solo lobby, things are great. But then again, you're just playing by yourself, so you might as well be playing in the story mode. Uh, and so it's just kind of frustrating on that front because, you know, I want to cover the game. I want to tell people, uh, you know, cool tips and, and things of that nature. 
and quite frankly there's just nothing really to do right now in the game that even is inspiring for me to go make tip videos or for me to go uh, try to find fun cool things to share with you guys because there's there's not many I mean we you know what I mean there's just frankly um, all that content's been made and I'm not one who's just gonna like flood your inboxes with a bunch of stuff that I don't really have any reason to so obviously I would like there to be more content because I would like to make more videos for you guys so uh, I feel like I'm a little biased in that sense and I do want to note that like obviously the youtuber who covers the game wants there to be more content in the game right because that's more content for me it's more content for you guys um, and ultimately that translates to money so I mean obviously I want there to be more content uh, but at the end of the day I'm a fan of this game more than I am a coverer of it I guess I guess maybe they're hand in hand at this point but still I feel like a fan first um, and I feel like I come at this from the perspective of a fan uh, I know a lot of you guys watch these videos and it, the, the numbers are getting bigger so I have to treat those more like an outlet than I do like uh, I'm just a guy but quite frankly man it's just frustrating because I just want this game to be really good and Rockstar doesn't even seem to care about it um, and when they do care it's just in weird directions like pimp hats and and stop uh, I don't know man it's just frustrating but that is actually gonna be where I call this video quits stay tuned to my community tab because I'm going to be doing a lot more community source videos and you guys should see a new post on my community tab right now so if you want to go check that out you can be involved in the next video thank you guys for tuning in I hope you guys did like this video if you didn't let me know in the comment section down below why and what you disagree with and if you did enjoy it you want to get some attention in Rockstar's face maybe get me blocked by a few more people on Twitter go ahead and share it on Twitter and I will give it the old retweet uh, yeah that's it thank you guys so much and I'll see you very very soon purse <clears throat> Hmm. Ha. I have like phlegm in my throat. It's not good.